Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you top 5 best Windows 11 Lite versions for low-end PC or laptop. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, there are going to be a few, or in this case, 5 options that you could try here. So first is we have Nexus 11. So if your low-end PC is still your main gaming machine or you're trying to squeeze every bit of performance from it, Nexus 11 might just be your sweet spot here. Now it's a pretty tweak version of Windows 11, focus on gaming performance, system stability, and in this case, a big one, privacy. Now what makes it uh, is that a uh, great is that it strips out non-essential features and background apps that usually hog your RAM and CPU, so the OS itself feels much lighter. What this means is for you is smoother gameplay, fewer frame drops, and fewer annoying background tasks eating up your resources. Plus, it, dis it actually disables tracking features to give you better privacy by default. So in this case, if you ha uh, hate all the bloatware that comes with Windows and just want a clean, fast OS for daily use and gaming, well, Nexus 11 is a solid pick here. Now, next is we have Tiny 11. Now, Tiny 11 is the starter pack for anyone who just wants Windows to work without slowing everything down. It's based on the latest Windows 11 23H2, which in this case, but cut down to the essentials, we're talking about only around like 8GB of storage needed, which is less than half of the standard Windows install. Now, if you're working with limited storage or older drives here, in this case, this is going to be a game changer. Includes basic uh, tools like Notepad, Calculator, Paint, and Microsoft Store. So while it removes the clutter, it still lets you install what you want. In this case, there's also Tiny 11 Core, which is even smaller and around 3 gigabyte and still functional. So in this case, that's insanely efficient. Whether you're using an old laptop as a daily driver or just need a lightweight OS for casual use, Tiny 11 is a friendly and effective as it gets. Next is we have Optimum 11. Now, in this case, if you're not gaming but still want a super clean and efficient system, in this case, Optimum 11 might be the best set it and forget it option here. It's all about balance, fast performance, and minimal me memory usage here, and just enough features to keep you productive. The big headline here is that it takes up only about like 4.5 gigabytes of this space here, which is incredibly lean for Windows 11. Now, unlike some strip down builds here, Optimum 11 still supports UWP apps and the Microsoft Store, which means you can use apps like Netflix, WhatsApp, and even install Teams if you need to. And Edge, Windows Defender are optional. So you only install them if you want. It's built for users who want speed and simplicity without completely ditching core functionality. Next is we have Windows 11 LTC 2024. Now, in this case, this one's a big, a uh, bit different here. So Windows 11 LTC 2024, L LTSC 2024, which is long-term servicing channel, is originally designed for specialty device, uh, devices in sectors like healthcare, banking, or retail. But in this case, this one is crazy stable and has very few background services and gets security updates for 10 years. And that's rare for Windows version. Now, now in this case, here's why it's awesome for low-end hardware. When Microsoft lower the minimum system requirements here. Just two gigabyte RAM needed and secure boot and TPM are optional. So even old system that can run regular Windows 11 can run this version and it's actually tailored for the minimal uh, minimal interruptions and min maximum longevity. Now perfect if you need a rock solid OS for work and mission critical tasks or you just don't want to install or reinstall every few years here. And finally, we have Windows 11 Lite. So, last but not the least here, Windows 11 Lite is the most straightforward, bloatware-free uh, version of Windows in the list. It's all about getting rid of unnecessary features that slow down older machines, think of fewer background processes, optimized RAM usage, and more responsive performance even on low-spec devices. Now, it's actually ideal if you want Windows to run well, nothing fancy, no frills, just smooth day-to-day -day usage, install it, and in this case, it does take some basic know-how, but it's always good uh, good to back up your files before switching over. But once you do, it's you'll definitely feel the difference here, especially if your current Windows install feels like it's dragging its feet. But yeah, so those are the alternatives that we recommend you to try uh, getting here. But in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.